Zahideh has been waiting here for more than 80 hours, hoping to find her loved ones. Her son, daughter-in-law and grandchild are still under this rubble. Report on this so that people know my pain. My dear ones are burning under this rubble. This Syrian family has six relatives in the same collapsed building. They fled the civil war and came to Kahraman Maraj to begin a new, safer life here. These Turkish and Syrian families are now sharing the same pain. People are trying to cope. They are relying on aid and sleeping in cars as the aftershocks continue. God shall save us. We are now refugees, she says. Death and life are intertwined here. As survivors are provided food, the dead bodies keep arriving. This was one of the largest stadiums in Kahraman Marash. It has now been turned into a tent city for those who survived. It houses 3,000 people, around 15 in each tent. <laughs> Durna and her family moved in this tent a day ago. She says she and her three children had to survive the sub-zero temperatures for two days when her home was heavily damaged. Some of her relatives also died in the disaster. We are safe as much as a tent can defend us. Kids are cold at night. I have a three-year-old son. He is scared as soon as the tent shakes and runs towards me asking, is it happening again? The residents here are served food and warm clothes, but at night the weather is extremely cold. They say they struggle to stay warm, especially the children. As the sun sets, a body is found. Her son has been pulled out from under the rubble, but he is not alive.